Hey there, internet friends. It's Jason Brownkowski from Drink the Paint Water, and today we's painting the Mothman. Stick around. All right, as you can see, I've started off with a pine board, and I painted it red for some reason. I thought it would just be a little bit more interesting than having the native pine there. I'll talk about that in a second. Here I've got a white Posca paint marker that I'm using to transfer the sketch that I originally sketched on my iPad Pro. Uh, to transfer it down here, I had tried some white charcoal pencils and they just weren't cutting it. Velvet is a very unforgiving medium. Uh, the first problem I uh, encountered with it, back the, the first time I made a velvet painting, this is my third one, is I tried to stretch it like you would normally would a canvas stretched over a, a frame but it was too uh, loose, too springy, so there was too much give in the middle when I would try to uh, paint on it. So I learned my lesson, and now I stretch it over boards, like you saw in the, at the very beginning of this video. Another thing about velvet is that it's very thirsty. It just sucks up the paint. You know, it's, it's thirsting on main, right? <laughs> it sucks up the paint, so you'll notice that I just keep hitting the same areas with layer after layer after layer of paint. It's a process, it's really enjoyable. Some people might find it maddening but uh, just to get the rich colors to pop, you really have to just put down the base stones and then build on that. You can see I painted his eyes white. Everybody knows Mothman has red eyes, right? But I put the, I painted them white so that I can really make the red pop later, and you're gonna see that in a second here. I also wanted to, ooh, look at that paint water just swirling. It's like you wanna drink it. No, pay attention, focus, okay. Yeah, I wanted cool colors and warm colors to kind of pop and play off the, uh, pay off each other. So I've got the bright yellow there in the kind of the landscape in the background against his blue and I tried to make the inside like the, the inside of his torso darker than the outside of his wings. And now we're here we've got some detail work just picking up some uh, rim lighting. We can, <laughs> when you're painting on something sometimes you gotta move it a bunch of different ways. Oh here's a toothbrush. Uh, I don't use that one anymore. Uh, not that I ever used it before but I don't use it anymore or any <laughs> to get some uh, white texture on there. There's as you can see now, the red eyes are kind of pink. The white that I had down there had dried for several hours, but when I came back at it with some red, it decided to reactivate and kind of make it pink. So I'm letting that dry again and hitting it hitting again with just another layer of red and another layer of red. I'll probably go back another, you know, two times at least to just do brighter red, brighter red, brighter red. And I'm trying to show the... Um, illumination of his eyes by putting that red you know in the there's more yeah more red the the red in the in his wings and in his cheekbones and and such like that to show that they're kind of luminescent and not just uh you know not just red dots so you can kind of see where i'm going with this I'm pulling some more uh, warm tones and that pinks and yellows and oranges down in his feet to really kind of echo the background and to make the cool colors of his body pop and here we are. It's the Mothman on velvet. Isn't it luxurious? Take that, Elvis. Signed it with my big new name. And <laughs> upside down and sideways for some reason. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.